Hey beautiful people, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. About a month ago, I did a video on minimalism and I talked about the importance of minimalistic living and decluttering and just freeing up your space and your mind. So I got a lot of feedback and I'm really excited that so many people are also on that journey or even sort of thinking about doing this. So I wanted to do a series on minimalism and this video is just going to talk about how to get rid of your things. If you are someone who likes things, you clearly bought them for a reason. You liked it and you want it. So getting rid of it is really hard and for some people it's really just unfathomable. They just can't imagine getting rid of stuff. So I kind of wanted to show you realistically how I got rid of things and how you can get rid of things too if you want to declutter your life. So the first thing that you can do if it's feasible for you is start off with clothes. So first you're going to start off by getting five trash bags. And what you're going to do is you're going to make five piles of items. The first pile is going to be trash. These are clothes you haven't worn in years. And when I say years, I would say about three to five years. You have not thought about it. You have not touched it. You maybe have forgot it even existed and something is wrong with it. There might be a hole in it. It might be very dirty where you can't get the stain out. Um, there might be a zipper broken, something that you know you're not going to fix and you just know you're not going to use. These are also things that you should not donate. When donating clothes, there has to be a level of respect for whoever it is that you're going to give it to. So you should not give things that are torn, extremely dirty, soiled. You need to throw that stuff away. So I know if you live in the colder state, socks might be something that people actually need. You need socks. Socks keep people's feet warm in the cold. And so that might be something you're thinking of giving away. So for me, this is something I would not give away. It's a pair of socks, but as you can see, like the back of it, it's really dirty. Couldn't get that out. It's almost like even kind of hard. It's gross. This is not something that I would give away. Even to like Goodwill, I would throw this away. Now, you can use your judgment. Maybe some of you guys would give this away because there might be someone who's homeless that you think could use it. I, out of respect, would not want to give something like this to anyone. So this is something that would go in the trash pile. The next pile are things that you would give away. These are things that you maybe can't fit. It's too tight. It's too short. It's no longer age appropriate. It's not in good enough shape to where you would want to give it to someone maybe that you know, um, like as a gift or anything, but maybe it's something that you feel someone could use. I know there are people here who are trying to lose weight and so some of the outfits you might be like, oh well, I'm going to lose 50 pounds so that I can wear that again. Well sure, keep it, but you don't need to keep all of them. You can give maybe half of those things away. But for those of you who are kind of realistic with yourself, if you know you're not going to lose those 50 pounds or you have no intention on losing 50 pounds, you're fine with the weight you are and that's something you were when you were 17, that's fine too. And that would be something that I would donate. So you can donate it to Goodwill, you can donate it to the veterans, you can donate it to um, any community organizations that you have. I know there are tons of drives for clothes. It is up to you to decide where you want to donate. I know that there are some people who choose not to donate to Goodwill and uh, places like that because they do sell and they make a profit from it. I know places like Salvation Army are said to take donations but use that money from the donations for the Red Cross and uh, different emergency organizations like that. So it's up to you. You can donate to your church anywhere that you feel would be beneficial but once it's gone it's gone you know you can't worry about who's wearing your clothes out there who's selling your clothes this is something that you cannot have an emotional attachment to they're just things that you do not need for example i have this shirt it's a basic shirt there's no brand on it i even cut the tag off it's just a regular basic shirt it's something i think someone could actually wear and make it look really good um, but for me, it is completely unnecessary. I didn't even know I had it. I have no desire to wear it. It's very basic. I'm not going to do anything with it. It's excess clothing. This is something that I would give away. Another example are these. I have two of these. These are like um, see-through undergarments that you can wear like under a shirt that shows your midriff. If you don't want to show it, you can wear these. They're like leotards. I bought two of them on accident. I didn't realize that I already had one. I don't need them both. This is how I end up with junk. I need to get rid of one of them. So I keep one of them and for the second one I would either donate it or sell it or give it away to someone. But this for me is something that I would just go ahead and donate. Another example is this shirt. It's a little too short for me. Um, it's something that was cute when I had the little body for it but at this point it's something that I need to give away. It's very cute. Crop top. It has like 
um, different words underneath it but I'm barely squeezing into it it doesn't fit me well I prefer to wear clothes that fit my body appropriately and this doesn't so it's something that I would give away um, and I have no attachment to it no feelings towards it it would go into that pile the third pile are things that you have that you haven't worn in a long time they may not fit you anymore but maybe you only wore it once maybe you bought it and you never wore it at all um, it maybe still has a price tag on it. These are things that you can give away or sell, okay? Um, you can give it away as a gift to someone. You can give it away if you have a little sister, a cousin. I have something like that right now. I bought this dress. I could have sworn I purchased it in a large. I bought it online. It's velvet at the top and the bottom. It's really shiny. It's backless. It is a pretty dress, but I cannot fit it. And trust me, I tried. I can't fit it. Um, I don't want to go through the hassle of returning it online, so I'm going to give it to my sister. But if I wanted to sell it, it's something that I could have also sold, but I'm going to choose to give it to her. I could give it to someone as a gift. It still has a price tag on it, so it's definitely, um, you know, still in good shape. But that's an example of something that is nice enough to sell, nice enough to give away to someone as a gift that they would appreciate. The next bag are for things that are sentimental. It's not everything that you're going to want to give away. Some things mean something to you. This cannot be everything though. This can't even be half of your things. All of your clothes cannot mean something to you, okay? They just can't. So for those things, I suggest you keep because the last thing you want to do is get rid of something and then cry later because it's something that your grandmother gave you or it's something that you uh, got in another country and it was sentimental to you. Don't give those things away. Put those things somewhere else. Those things will clutter up your space, um, especially if you're not using them. Your prom dress, your wedding dress, you know, you may not need to look at that every single day. Those things can be put away, but they don't need to be given away or sold. An example for me is this hat that I got when I was in high school. It's like a trucker hat back when that was really in style, and I love that it has a snapback. It's a cute hat. I don't wear hats anymore. I don't walk around wearing caps anymore. It's not my style, and um, I don't even know if it's my head, to be honest. But it's sentimental to me. I got it when I was in high school, and I really loved wearing it, and it's not something that I want to give away or sell. This is something I would keep. This is sentimental, and it would go somewhere else, because in my closet, there's no point of it being in there. And the very last pile are the things that you're kind of not sure about, okay? This pile should not be bigger than your giving away pile. These are the things that you like, mm, I want to sell it, but I think I want to wear it one more time, or I want to give it away, but I kind of still really like it. Those things you can go ahead and keep, I would say no longer than a year. In a year's time, look at those things and decide whether or not you want to keep it. Those things can either go back in your closet or keep it in that bag. I kept those things in a bag and then I looked at it again and I was like, oh, I was just so overwhelmed that I just gave it away. A year later, I just gave it away because I did not need it. It showed me how much I really did not need any of those things. So those are your five piles and that's how you should separate them to decide how you want to give things away. Don't just start throwing things away. If you're at the point where you have to downsize, maybe you lost a job, maybe you're moving and you have to downsize, you can get rid of some of these piles. You can combine some of them. You can just make two. You can make the things that are sentimental and the things that you're giving away. You don't need five piles, but this is for the person who is hesitant to give away their things, okay? Because it's really important to start slow and not feel like you're getting everything taken away from you. When I talk to some people about minimalism, they go, well, I don't want to end up with nothing. If you want nothing, you go ahead and have nothing. You won't end up with nothing. You'll end up with the things that you actually care about, the things that you're actually going to use, and the things that are of quality. That's what you'll end up with, and you'll find so much peace with that. It's really important to start off slow, but to get started. So I hope this video was helpful to someone. If you guys have suggestions on how you got rid of your things from the beginning, please leave comments and let me know. I love the fact that so many people are interested in minimalism and just sort of decluttering their lives. It's a wonderful, positive thing. And I would like you guys to also leave comments on other videos that you would like to see in relation to minimalism so that I can add it to the series. If you guys have any questions about anything, please let me know. And if you don't, big kisses to you all. Mwah. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.